Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to the world's most awkward tango with a dead man. So last time we went back to Yahar Girl Unseen Village, however the hell you say it, and we dropped off, got the spooky key, and we used the key to make our way here. And this is basically at the top of the tower that we could climb uh, next to uh, the Erden Chapel. And as you can see, it's pitch black in here, it was full of sucker head weird witch thing shooting magic and shits, and a bunch of ginormous black werewolves with blue eyes. It was goddamn terrifying. Frankly, it still is, and I don't know where to go. In fact, that's a good point. I remember there was a door right at the bottom of the staircase. i pretty damn sure we never went in there. I can't remember if it said it was locked or if it just said it opens from the other side or whatever, but I know we haven't been in there yet. So maybe that's where we have to go? That's a good point, actually. We killed one of the sucker head thingies and dropped a key. So maybe the key is what opens that door. I don't know. And yeah, if you look down here, this looks like a prime boss fight area to me. Apparently it's not. Maybe it is later, I don't really know. Yes, okay, so apparently it's the orphanage key. So I guess we're either in the orphanage now, or we're about to be. Don't really know. Well, this is a large open room. Ambush? I see booty auntie in ambush. Okay, apparently it's safe. I, my brain mentally prepares for an ambush every time something like that happens, and then I don't get an ambush, and my brain's like, What's going on? I don't understand. Where's the ambush? I don't know, brain. I do not know. Ah, uh, isn't this? Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure that's the uh, gate that we saw that was locked at the very beginning of this area, so I guess that's just a shortcut back. Good to know. And usually you get a shortcut just before a boss or before something that's a giant pain in the ass. So I expect we're probably about to die, basically. Oh, hello, alien man. No. No hugs for you. You get out of here. I'm blue, da ba dee da ba die da ba By the way, don't know how many people know, but the song I Am Blue by Eiffel 65. Most people think that's actually about a blue alien. It's not, it's about depression. Go back, listen to the lyrics. It will blow your mind. What am I looking at here? They're moving. I can't tell if that's a field of aliens or a field of plants. It looks kind of like both. I don't really know. Maybe this is where they grow the aliens. Yeah, as, as much as I say that as a joke, wouldn't surprise me. Really wouldn't freaking surprise me. Well, I can't help but notice. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, Celestial Emissary. Em <laughs> emissary. I can say what? Well, apparently there's uh, a shit ton of aliens and it does look like they, uh, they are the growing plant thingies. This is some weird shit, man. This is some weird shit. What the hell? Why did that guy take no damage? Oh, now the boss is missing HP. Oh. Oh, I get it. This is, uh, this is the rat's vanguard, isn't it? From Dark Souls 2, basically. One of these is the actual boss. The rest are just cannon fodder. So, yeah, you're not dead. Get out of here. So I guess you're the boss? If you know I could hit you. Yeah, he seems to be the only one that's not coming at me. Oh no, he's coming at me now. Do you attack? It looks like he just mostly dodges, but he did try and come at me for a second there, so... Now I'm kind of questioning it. Well, so I just realized we've done a lot of damage already. Hello, sir. Damn. I think I still hit him. Yes, I did. Oh shit, he's doing something. Get out of there. Holy shit. Now he's a giant blue alien. I am terrified. But yes, as you can see from the name, Celestial Emissary. Clearly they are... Oh god. Okay, he's turned into the magic guy now. That's terrifying. But yeah, clearly as you can see, they are actually aliens. Like, I mean, I guess that's not really confirmation, but it's pretty bloody close. So, yeah, I figured they were just like little spore people in the forest, but no, it seems like there is actually aliens in this game. This game just gets weirder and weirder. Ow, stop punching. Oh, holy shit. Okay, the big fella's actually kind of dangerous. Who the thunk it, right? A boss that's dangerous? Who the thunk it? Oh, oh, shit. Do these dudes, like, never stop coming? I guess they probably don't. Or at least until the boss is dead. Gotta hope they stop coming after the boss is dead. Ow. Okay. We really kind of need to just go for it, because uh, if we keep wasting time, he's not going to freaking die. And that's just bad for business, you know? Oh. What? Well, damn. <laughs> Hey, we got communion. 
Well, damn, apparently the, uh, the Sappy Mace does a fuck ton of damage to the Celestial Emissary. I am okay with that. I noticed the, uh, field of creepy plant alien people is still here, but the alien people seem to have gone, so I guess that's something. That's really weird, man. It re I don't know if they are supposed to be the plants. I think they are. It wasn't like... Because I noticed they were just raising out the ground. It wasn't like the plants were turning into them directly. But it certainly seems like that's what's implied here. It's like this is a field of aliens that are growing. It's kind of like the Matrix. Not that they were really aliens, though I guess also they kind of were. They were robots. Same bloody thing. Can we go in there? I see a slug dude. Okay. I don't see any booty. Well, clearly that's somewhere we can go later. Guess we need to go up here? This place is bloody gigantic. Well, so fully expecting an ambush up here. Probably shouldn't because there seems to be a boss room, but... It's Bloodborne, so I, I'm expecting something's about to attack me. Hello? Oh, you're, you're nothing. So where the hell do I go then? Is this just a dead end? See, I was told you have to come here. I was told I need to do this. This isn't optional. So... I don't know? Maybe killing that boss has unlocked something else. Kind of like when you kill the blood Bloodstarved Beast, it unlocks the door to even get to here. So maybe that's kind of what's going on? I don't really know. Kind of confused right now. Well, anyway, before I forget, let's go repair our Zappy Mace, because... It, uh, it takes a hell of a beating. In fact, before we repair it, can we fortify it? No, we can't. Because, yeah, when you upgrade a weapon, it repairs it, so I figured we would check. Oh, God damn it! Let's repair that shit. I guess we'll repair the torch as well, since, you know, we use it quite a lot. Not so much for the actual attacking, but... This seems like a good idea to me. Welcome. What? Okay, I was procrastinating quite a bit, so I'm probably going to cut out most of that shit. By the way, I'm going to level up Vitality. I guess we'll go for 40, and after that, we'll start working on some other stuff. And I guess I'll spend our Welcome. spare blood echoes on, uh... On blood vials. Anyway, so basically what I did was I used all of our soul consumables and then I spent all of our insight on bolt and fire paper. I bought mostly fire because it makes sense to me since we are mostly using a bolt weapon. We can't coat it. So we'll keep the fire paper mostly for when we want to use the uh, the Ludwig Holy Blade. Because we're probably only really going to do that if the bolt seems to be doing shitty. So why would we coat it in bolt, you know? Makes sense. Anyway, give me a moment here to change gear and... I guess... I don't really know where we should go. We've done all those places. I guess give me a minute here to figure out where we're going next, because, uh... Yeah, I'm kind of confused. Because, again, I'm pretty damn sure we're supposed to be doing something in the Celestial Emissary. We killed it. I don't know where to go now. Okay, I checked all around where we killed the alien dude. I can't find where else to go there, so we're back where we killed the one reborn. I guess we're going to carry on this direction for now, because as far as I can remember, this is the only place that we can go. Shit. Are you an NPC? Are you alive? Are you something else entirely? You have a cage on your head. That's terrifying. Inspect mummy. Is this going to teleport me? Looks like it. Yep, okay, well, good. At least it's not a dead end, because for a second there I was like, oh shit, it's a dead end. Just like the Witch of Hemwick. That would have really sucked. Lecture building. Oh, and we haven't lit the lamp. But yeah, we've definitely been to the lecture building before, at least one that was called the lecture building. Maybe this is a different part of the same building, or maybe it's a different building with the same name? I don't know. But yeah, this is where we met the dude that sounds like Patches. And then we went to the Nightmare Frontier. Oh! There's a shit ton of gooey people. Naturally. Well, I guess, uh... I guess it's clobbering time. I guess we'll go for you, because clearly you've seen me. Hello, sir. Now, I want no freaking education. We don't need no education. Bow da down now. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. That's about it, really. Who cares? Come here, you. I like you. I also suddenly feel compelled to sing so oh god. I also suddenly feel compelled to sing Smells Like Teen Spirits. Apparently they, uh, they shoot goo at me. Good to know. Then again, who really knows the lyrics to Smells Like Teen Spirits? I don't think even they did. Because, like, holy shit. I remember a little bit of it. It's, it's like, with the lights out, it's less dangerous. Here we are now, entertain us. I feel stupid and contagious. Here we are now, entertain us. Then it gets kind of, like, really confusing. It's like a something, an albino, a mosquito, my libido. Yeah, 
Sir, what the hell are you doing? If you could actually freaking die, that would be really nice. Stop flopping around like a freaking penis. Jesus. My god, okay. It's going for the kill. Stop shooting your goo all over the place, sir. What the hell are you doing? Wait a minute, does he have a lantern or something? He's carrying something. What are you carrying, sir? Haha, uh -huh. apparently there's two of them. Oh god. Okay, don't seem to be doing that much damage, but they're still terrifying. And that one didn't have a mortarboard. You lack education, sir. And we got some bullets. Good, good. All right, it's booty over here. I think finally we have a break and we got a chunk as well. Can't remember how many chunks we needed to upgrade the Tonitrus. I think it was what? I think it was two actually. I think we had three out of five. Holy shit, there's a big fella over there. I remember those dudes. We haven't seen them in quite a long time. Can I open you? Yes, I can. That's terrifying. Hopefully I didn't just unleash a bunch of monsters. Are his hands on fire? That's dangerous, sir. What the hell are you doing? Oh, shit. That's, uh... Really wish you hadn't attacked me right then. I was buffing my weapon. You fiery son of a bitch. Come here, you. That's gonna miss. Oh, God. This is going terribly. This is going really terribly. You seem to have an awful... Oh, God. Almost ran into that. Seem to have an awful lot of HP. Yes, we got the parry. Day. Holy shit, I did so much damage with that, and that, uh, he still has a lot left, put it that way, he's still got a lot left. Come here, buddy. That, uh, didn't backstab you, but did do probably quite a bit of damage. Yes, okay. Big white dude's down, and we got some twin bloodstone shots. Not really that handy, but you know, it's something, I guess. Okay, so we can go down there, and see another door over here. Oh, and a smoky door. Last time we- oh, god. That's a good point. Last time we went out of a smoky door, we ended up in the Nightmare Frontier. So I'm gonna go on a limb here and say that other smoky door probably also gonna take us to uh, either the same place but a different section or a different nightmare. That's terrifying. I'm pretty sure there are at least two nightmares. So, yeah. Shit. <laughs> Seems like we found one. That's, uh... I mean, you know, I want to do it because of completion and whatnot, but we had a terrible experience. We got another communion. That's a good point. What the bloody hell do the communion things do? Because we keep getting them. They are higher blood vial max. See, I don't really know that that's worth equipping. Like, it seems to me like there's much better runes that you can put on. Like, one extra blood vial, I mean, it's handy, don't get me wrong. But I'd rather have, like, crit damage and stuff like that, and, you know... My crit's healing me, it all seems, it's all good, man, it's all good. Okay, well anyway, before we go in the smoky door, I guess we'll try checking out the other places, because makes sense to me. That way we know we're done, and wherever the hell we end up, because we're bound to end up somewhere. The Nameless Moon Presence beckoned by Lawrence and his associates, Pale Blood. Okay. I have no idea what that means. I'm probably not meant to. Can I smash you? Yes, I can. That makes me happy. Screw the law, we got shit to smash. I remember there was a dude, and you know I'm gonna rant about this. There was a dude in my comment section. I banned him, but what the hell? Three third chords. Can I pick them up? Can I use them? I guess not. I mean, there was a dude in my comment section, and he went on a massive rant at me like, You never pay any attention to the law. You don't care about... Oh, hello, sir. You don't care about the law. The only time you ever pay any attention to the law of the game is when you get stuck and you come up against a wall of progress, and then you need to find out what you need to do, so then you pay attention. Fuck you, buddy. I pay way more attention to the law than most YouTubers, and certainly most gamers. Most gamers will play this game, kill shit, and not give a fuck about the law. Just like the people that play Dark Souls 1. There's plenty of us that love the lore of Dark Souls 1, or, you know, 2. But Dark Souls 1 in particular. The first time I beat that game, I was like, that was cool, I had no idea what the hell was going on. But I cared about the lore enough to find out what had actually happened. And that's how, you know, we all go on YouTube and we look up the lore and stuff like that, we find the people that make lore videos. And then people like me that don't make lore videos, but talk about it somewhat. Oh shit. That's a ton of gooey people down there. Master Willem was right. Evolution without courage will be the ruin of our race. See, again, I'm trying to piece together these things in my head. As far as I can tell, from someone playing the game who isn't looking up bits of lore between the episodes, because that would be pretty damn stupid, I'd be ruining things for myself. 
I don't think the game intends me to know really what's going on yet. I've just got little bits to go on. Like what, ow, like what I read just there. That sounds to me like this Master Willem person um, believes in like, basically as far as I can tell, it seems to me like the whole deal with beasts and the church and whatnots is that these people are trying to make a more advanced version of humans, so they're making the beasts intentionally. But most people don't seem to have a clue that they're doing that, so they're doing it underhandedly. Like, the church probably thinks they're helping people by turning them into beasts and whatnots, and really they're not. Because, yeah, I, you get my points. Where the aliens come in, I don't really know. Maybe they're using the aliens' blood or something like that, somehow using the aliens in their experiments to figure out and use them to actually make our race evolve. Maybe? I don't really know. Oh, that's a fucking spider with a head. Is that Patches? Is that the guy we were talking to? Is Patches a fucking spider in this game? What the hell was that? I'm terrified. <laughs> oh, this cannot be. You cannot be. No, you didn't. Lord Amidala? Oh, how did this come to pass? Sweet fucking Jesus patches as a spider. Hello? How's it going? I'm so creeped out right now. Let's check out the emote, because why the hell not? I also really hate the conviction emote, so let's get rid of that. Please. Don't hurt me, spider patches. Does this emote ever end? I guess not. Hi. How's it going? Now, wait just a moment. Do you think you love me? Me? Uh, not at all. Indeed, I should think not. I shared with you a thing most secret. Now, you're witness to a miracle, and all the stronger for it. You should appreciate it, if you've a grain of gratitude in you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> Creepy as shit. No matter. Such details are trifling. We're fast friends by now. Let this express what words cannot. Anti-clockwork metamorphosis. Well, thanks. Oh, doubt me not, sweet compere. What is friendship but a chance encounter? <laughs> Here's a philosophical spider. Ah, well met. My apologies, but I feel a profound thought occurring. On the good grace of a certain god, and the way he meted out his love. <laughs> ah, well met. Hmm. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. See, he mentioned Armengala, if I'm even saying the name right, I don't really know. But uh, that's the grabby man who grabbed us and took us to the Nightmare Frontier, well, to the lecturer building in the first place, which is how we ended up in the Nightmare Frontier. And then we ended up killing him as the boss there. So, yeah. It sounds like maybe that's the god he's talking about? Don't really know. Anyway, give me a moment here to check how long we've been recording. Okay, not quite long enough yet, but... Yeah, pretty damn close. We probably got just about long enough to check out the rest of this building and then head into the spooky, smoky door and probably be terrified by being in the nightmare again. Oh boy. Okay, I remember I'm pretty damn sure anyway that there was another door around here somewhere that we never checked in. Oh shit. Wait, what? Okay, I see one gooey man. This is definitely the room we went into the last time we were in the nightmare. So we're back in the first section of the building. Because again, that was Patches on the other side of the door. If that even is Patches, but it certainly seems to be. So... I guess we're done in this section? But we looked down upon that and there was a bunch of gooey people there. But there's only one now. So maybe that was a different section, I'm just confused, but I think it was the same place? I don't know, and apparently I missed this door. Oh. How the bloody hell... I don't know, maybe somehow we can get there from the, uh, the second part of the nightmare? I don't know, oh god, don't do that, Patches. Don't freaking do that. 
Oh, there's nothing there to read. Well, this is, uh, this is getting weirder and weirder. So we found Patches, and in this game, he's a man's head in a spider, and seems kind of philosophical, and he's talking about some kind of god and his unrequited love. This is, uh, this is a weird freaking game, and I kind of like it. Like, I really kind of like it. So I don't know why he's a spider. But yes, we know Patches. We know we can't trust him. The reason I said that I do trust him, or however the hell I phrased it, was just because I want to see what happens. I want to see if he's going to backstab us. Nightmare of Mensis. Well, shit. And there are skulls everywhere. I guess maybe Mensis is the god he's talking about. I have no idea. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Next time, we take on our second nightmare. Oh, God. And yeah, before I forget, I'm going to put on the, uh, the anti-frenzy shits. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I always appreciate a like. And I'll see you next time for more Bloodborne.